Welcome back to Mideast in Depth, part of Levant TV's Press Review, where today we will be looking at U.S. foreign policy in Syria. David Ignatius writes an article in the Daily Star. He believes President Barack Obama's measured defense of his foreign policy at West Point Wednesday made many cogent points to rebut critics. Unfortunately, the speech also showed that he hasn't digested some of the crucial lessons of his presidency. Obama wants to see the world as it is, with all its dangers and responsibilities, and he repeated several interventionist applause lines, from touting America as the indispensable nation to affirming American exceptionalism. Ignatius says Obama still wants to time limit America's commitment to uh, security and stability. He declared Tuesday that U.S. forces in Afghanistan would be zero by the end of 2016. That's the same mistake he made in 2009 when he said his surge of 30,000 troops in Afghanistan would begin coming home in 18 months regardless. Ignatius applauds Obama saying we must not create more enemies than we take off the battlefield, but he adds, I wish he hadn't needlessly announced to our enemies in Afghanistan how long they have to wait for us out. Some of, them, uh, some of those young cadets must picture in their minds the grim prospect of flying back into Afghanistan post-2016 to combat a future disaster. For all Obama's deliberation about increasing aid for the moderate, for the moderate Syrian opposition, it's telling that the White House still hasn't disclosed whether its assistance will be in the form of an overt Title 10 military training program led by U.S. Special Operations Forces or remain a covert CIA parliamentary effort. Obama is said to have decided for the open military approach, which would probably include training entire units, but he doesn't want to scare off key Arab partners such as Jordan, which are nervous about such visible programs. Julian Paquet writes an article titled Obama asks Congress to ramp up support for Syrian opposition. The Al Monitor piece looks at President Barack Obama, who is once again turning to Congress to approve a stepped up US role in Syria, despite being rebuffed last year. President Obama announced his desire to work with the Congress to ramp up support for those in the Syrian opposition who offer the best alternative to terrorists. He also asked lawmakers to approve a new $5 billion US dollar counterterrorism fund aimed in part at combating Syrian extremists. Earlier in the day, Secretary of State John Kerry made similar overtures to Congress as he made the rounds of morning news shows to preview the President's speech. In the days ahead, we will be working very closely with the Congress to engage in additional assistance to the moderate opposition in Syria. The CIA has been running a small-scale covert training program out of Jordan since last year, but turning it over to the Pentagon would allow the US to train many more fighters and perhaps help turn the tide of the war, an official said. If you look at the different uh, options for providing assistance to the US military would need certain additional authorities and resources to be able to step up with assistance to the Syrian opposition. Piquet reports that some House members remain skeptical. A staffer for a key House Republican told El Monitor, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. Where are we going to do with the training? Who is uh, going to do it? And who's going to do the vetting? The vetting is really the key issue. How do we know where we're not hurting ourselves in the long run? House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Ed Royce, uh, a Republican uh, from California, however, said he welcomed the president's new focus on Syria. Obama's administration is also pushing for the adoption of a $5 billion US dollar fund. The new counterterrorism partnership fund would notably allow the Defense Department, in partnership with other agencies, to conduct expanded training and equipment activities and uh, more effectively to facilitate and enable the counterterrorism efforts of our partners on the front lines and provide security and stabilization assistance as well as support efforts to counter violent extremism and terrorist ideology. That was it for today and for more updates please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Medicine Death and bye for now.